Hey everyone. Um, let's turn that air conditioner on there. Um, so we just passed through Flesherton the way it's going. Um, so now we're on the Sydenham Road, not Sydenham near where I live, but Sydenham, this area. And we got another 35 kilometers, I think that's into Owen Sound, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's just see. Yeah, that's what it, well, it's just 31 kilometers to, uh, but it's, here it says 46 to Owen Sound, so they must, maybe it's having me turn off somewhere. I don't know, but anyways, um, it's definitely a different way and it's nice. Like, I'm enjoying the drive. I'm glad I went this way. Instead of through all the traffic of Collingwood and all that. This is nice. Nice and relaxed. It's beautiful out. 23 Celsius. So, for you Americans, that's 23, 23, 46, 36, so 76 around. A nice house sitting there empty like that. God. I'm seeing lots of places empty. I, I don't understand what's going on. Like, where is everybody, man? Aren't people, like, is everybody moving to the cities or something? Because out here in the boonies, like, I'm looking at all these. And there's lots of occupied places. But there's a whole lot of unoccupied places. And I just look at them going, why are they sitting empty? Like, some of them. I mean, okay, some of them look like shit. But, you know? Anyway, so nothing else to report, really, uh, for this little update at 335. Uh, just running through the back countryside, some gigantic farms. Um, we're still about 80 kilometers, so 50 miles from uh, um, Sable Beach. And uh, other than that part through Aurelia, where the roads were busy and everything, it's the roads have quieted right back down again. Uh, I definitely did not go the right way. We could have gone over top of Aurelia and then through there. We would have never had to see Aurelia. We would have, we would have been on roads like these all the way through. I'm gonna, I have my back road maps book, which I, I could have pulled out and, and uh, looked at it, but I didn't. So, but when I'm at the campsite, I'll, one of these days, like one of the days I'm there, I'm going to uh, have a look. And then I can get the GPS, I can put it in the GPS and then save it. And then I just have to push start and it'll do exactly what I want it to. So I forgot you can program them in, eh, your routes, and then keep them. So Sabo Beach to home. And then it's the route I choose, whatever, and, you know, my little finger move with the blue streak around. So, cut on to something else now with the GPS. Slow but sure. I think the AI, like I said earlier, is helping a lot. And I hate to say that because I hate the idea of AI. I, I really kind of do. And, uh, ooh, that suddenly was cooler. 22 Celsius, but all of a sudden, like, the air is just, like, was nice and warm, and I got my my arm out the window, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, now it's cool. It's like, woo. The well, the temperature gauge on the truck for outside is showing me 22, so it only went down a degree, but I wouldn't feel a degree, even at this speed, that much of a jump. Chapman's ice cream. Wow, big big warehouse here. I guess that's where it's manufactured is Chapman's ice cream is made right here. Holy shit. Never knew For anybody that lives in Eastern on well Canada, I guess because that's manufactured here and of course we get it where I live so anyway Ontario for sure favorite gigantic poisonous <laughs> shopping center shopping store all the poisonous food in it I 
bought two dozen eggs, uh, fresh eggs, uh, from Adam's uh, son. He's got a bunch of chickens there at where the boat was getting fixed yesterday. So I asked him, are they unwashed? He says, do you want kind of clean ones? I said, well, are they unwashed? He says, yeah, I have those. I'm like, give me the unwashed. I told him, I said, I know. I said, I grew up in, you know, the country. If it's unwashed, you don't even need to put the eggs in the refrigerator. That's why you always sell them in like little, those little, you know, little baskets with, you know, like a, a towel or whatever. The eggs would be in there, they'd be sitting. You see those in old pictures? Well, that's because that's before they were washing eggs. They wash eggs and it takes the membrane off that preserves the eggs. So the eggs start to age. The minute, the minute they start washing that, they start to age. And they're already not good eggs to begin with because they're eating every, anything but what they're supposed to be eating. And you can tell when you buy eggs from out in the country, you know, you city folk are new to this. You, uh, you look at an egg that you get from the grocery store, just a plain old white large egg, and then get yourself a brown large egg from the country that's not on a, you know, a factory farm, just backwoods country, you whatever, back country farm. You'll see the yolk is way oranger and the flavor is like a million times different. So, just to give you an idea, just that's one difference. Go buy hamburger directly from a, a beef farm. There's lots of places now selling their stuff. Mine and Calabogie is Long Island Farms. And, uh, or Longview Farms, sorry. And, um, you take a pound of that hamburger out of the grocery store and then a pound of hamburger from them and it's like you wouldn't even think that what you're getting from the grocery store is actually hamburger. You're like, you remember what hamburger used to taste like. I'm not quite sure where we are. Okay, Gray Highlands County. Okay, well, I know that. We're definitely in the area of my family's, uh, you know. This is definitely their uh, region, these distant cousins that I only found out about a few years ago. Anyway, I understand they're very, very serious religious people and stuff. So probably I'm not the kind of person that probably should be around them with my potty mouth and everything. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I'll just, I'll just get through town here. I didn't notice the sign coming in the town, what town this was. Oh, dump truck turning left. Apparently I'm not turning left. Where is he turning left? Where is he turning left? Grade 12, grade 12. No, oh, I guess we're stopping here. Cannabis Stop Incorporated. Well, it looks, I shouldn't say it's probably not closed. It looks like it's closed, but it's just because they keep the, they fog the windows and stuff, eh? to keep the criminals at bay as best they can. Although out here, the criminal element? <laughs> sure there's some, but nothing like in Toronto or Ottawa or places like that, Montreal, big cities. We have our crime in the smaller cities and stuff, but it's significantly less. Well, somebody just walked out with a package in his hand, so. And he's not a white Canadian, so he looked uh, Indian, Pakistani, from that part of the world. Canadian, he lives here, so far as I'm concerned, he's Canadian. Not the kind of face you expect in these little small towns that often, but that's changing, which is a good thing, man. like all this homogenized white everything I want I want flavor man canna cabana right next to the liquor store <laughs> now you gotta love that 
Canada Cabana, that we eat store. So two within like six blocks of each other and the one's next to the LCBO. Oh, you gotta love Canada. <laughs> Okay, Owen Sound, 37 kilometers. Okay, folks, well, there we go. I'll be back.